Thank you. I have a question on another subject. Um, the Ukraine aid negotiations. Yeah. Um, if the situation is as dire and urgent as the president says, why hasn't he invited leadership, Senate leaders, to Camp David and said, we're going to stay here until we work something out? We it have seems been. like there are a lot of things he could be doing that he hasn't done yet. Well, I, I won't uh, talk about what we're doing uh, that, you're, that you're not seeing in the media, but uh, our team is staying very, very closely engaged with members of Congress, uh, both sides of the aisle, as they continue to pursue these negotiations. Uh, and we'll, we'll see where it goes. Is he willing to let Congress adjourn without calling leaders to Camp David or somewhere like that for negotiations where they don't leave the room until they get a deal? I, I won't get into the president's decision making on this. We urge them to act immediately on the supplemental request. It's that important. You just saw us announce yet another uh, security assistance package for Ukraine here uh, yesterday. Um, there's not too many days left in the year. And there's not too many more opportunities to provide security assistance to Ukraine. So it's urgent. And he continues to urge them to act with that same sense of alacrity on this, on this supplemental request. And as he has also said, uh, we're willing to engage in good faith negotiations and to make compromises because that's required by both sides going forward. Wait, do you, does he believe there is more that he can do, other things that he can try to get a negotiated compromise on this issue? The president is working this very hard. The whole team is working this very hard. Okay,